welcome to Season 3, Episode 42 of Pro Wrestling's Top 50. I'm your host, Travis McNeil, and today we continue our countdown of the Top 50 matches in ECW history with match number 9 on our list, which is the ECW World Heavyweight Championship match between the champion Mike Awesome and the challenger Masato Tanaka from the November to Remember 1999 event held on November the 7th, 1999. Um, we have another Tanaka and Awesome match here, um, which should be no surprise. Um, this is, I'm going to say, maybe one of the more complete of their matches in their, you know, elongated series. Um, in that it has, you know, all of the big table spots and everything that you would expect. But it has a little bit more meat on the bones than just that. It feels uh, like it has a little bit more depth to the whole thing. And it feels a little bit more like a traditional heavyweight title match with that, you know extra ECW chaos thrown in. Um, this match, I think, arguably can be considered the best ECW World Heavyweight title match of all time. Um, and that's a, an interesting thing because despite being, you know, the, the prize possession, you know, the, the pinnacle of titles in ECW, uh, the World Heavyweight title, you know, wasn't really known to have, you know, a ton of classic matches surrounding it because it was almost more of the storyline title, right? You'd have guys like Raven and the Sandman feuding over it with all of their stuff. You know, you'd have Shane Douglas and, you know, the various guys that he would fight. Even Taz's run, you know, was a lot more of kind of like elongated squash matches. Um, and, you know, everything after, you know, Awesome's run, you know, with Just Incredible and, you know, the title swapping with Lynn and Incredible ultimately up to the end of, um, or, or Carino, I should say, up until the demise of ECW, you know, that title never really felt... Um, you know, like the, the big match title, right? It was all of those, those extra bells and whistles. That was more of the TV title. That was almost more the work rate title. Um, and then the tag team titles as well, you know, had various runs where it almost felt more valued than the World Heavyweight title. Um, so this match, you know, is, is absolutely phenomenal. And it's maybe that overall best title match. Um, you know, I say arguably because stay tuned you know, for this countdown. But, uh, you know, this one, like I said, you know, when you look at the meat and potatoes of it, it's, it's a really tremendous contest. Uh, because it's awesome in Tanaka, we've talked about this before, they build off of all of these things from their previous matches. Here, they're primarily building off Heatwave 98 the year before, and, you know, their one-on-one -on -one encounter at the end of the three-way dance involving Taz from Anarchy Rules. Uh, so you get, you know, a, a hot opening. Awesome hits the big run-up back elbow like at Heatwave, but they change it up. So normally he would get the dive. Tanaka cuts him off with that, hits like a triangle clothesline, and Tanaka hits a big dive of his own from the top rope to the floor. You know, they eventually come back to it, though, when Awesome hits the suicide dive, and he also hits a springboard dive into the crowd. Um, the top rope chair shot, you know, so again, we, we talk about these chair shots where it's the, the two no-sold and the third that takes Tanaka out at Heat Wave. It's, you know, the three no-sold and the one off the top that takes Tanaka out at Anarchy Rules. And here he no-sells the one off the top um, and actually ends up just roaring, elbowing the, uh, the chair into Awesome's face. So again, just great callbacks throughout this feud and it escalating that violence, right? That's the biggest story here is these guys have to destroy each other in new and innovative ways each and every single time out to be able to finish the other. It's that escalation of the violence that makes this feud so captivating. Um, here they do, again, great callbacks with the awesome bomb to the floor through a table. Tanaka gets out, awesome has to change it up, and hits a sit-out awesome bomb from the ring apron through a table on the floor, which was great. Uh, they do callbacks to the heat wave finish again with a tornado DDT over the chair, which wasn't enough. Um, Tanaka busts out Diamond Dust, which isn't enough. Awesome busts out the Awesome Splash, which isn't enough. Um, and it all comes, you know, into this big finish um, where, you know, again, Awesome goes for the Awesome Bomb off the top through the table, which was the finish at Anarchy Rules. Tanaka counters that into a suplex through the table off the top. Um, and Awesome ends up doing it a little bit different and hits a sit-out Awesome Bomb off the top rope for the three, which is enough to put Tanaka away. Um, this match, again, you know, was in that peak TNN era. Anarchy Rules was the first TNN era pay-per-view. Um, these guys, you know, stole the show, uh, you know, closing out that match with Taz. And here it made perfect sense, you know, one-on-one -on -one, uh, for the second big pay-per-view of that era. Although this was the World Heavyweight ma title match, it was not the main event. It went on earlier in the show uh, because there was a big six-man tag featuring the return of the Sandman that, you know, was, was a justifiable main event for this pay-per-view. 
Um, it's awesome in Tanaka. Uh, we've talked about it so much. It's, you know, my second favorite feud in wrestling history. All of the matches are so, so very good. Um, and despite, you know, it being guys power bombing each other through tables and no selling chair shots, um, there's so much depth to it. Um, with how the matches build upon each other. And like I said, it's incredible to me that for matches that at their core are very similar, you can watch them all consecutively, not get sick of them, and find new things in each match um, that will eventually build to, you know, an incredible all-timer of a crescendo with this feud when all is said and done. You can watch this match, of course, on the WWE Network. You may be able to find it on Peacock. I don't have the service, so I'm not sure. Uh, but you can certainly track it down online if you look hard enough. You can subscribe to my channel here on YouTube so that you don't miss a video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Wrestling50. And please join me again tomorrow as we continue to count down for Wrestling's Top 50. Top 50.